Steve here from Market Direct Group in Sydney. We're going to go through the actual setup of the Cruiser High Side now, and I'd like to introduce you to my mate Steve from Brisbane. Howdy, folks. We're going to go through the setup and show you how it's done. So, first thing we do here is undo all these side latches to be able to raise your utility rack. Now, I'll go around to get the pins at the back. This is the pin at the back, so we're going to slide it out here. Steve will raise that rack up soon and we'll stabilise it by putting the pin back in here with that down there. What I'm going to do now is drop all the stabiliser legs because after that we're just going to flip the top over and then we'll be into the setup. So easy, drop it down, grab your spindle, wind it down. Now it is only a stabiliser leg. You can use it to level out slightly, but just basically drop it to the ground, get some pressure on it. Okay, now stabilise the legs down, utility rack out of the way. We're ready to flip the top over. Now you've got two choices here. You do have a winch. You can unroll your winch all the way to the back to that fastening point. Once you've undone your latches, your struts will push it up a bit, but you need to push it up a good 200, 300 mil and then you can start your winch, manual winch. But basically what me and Steve do, quick, easy setup. we'll undo the latches and just flip it over by hand. Then to secure your top down, your winch just comes out. Fasten it down, your bed's not gonna move. That's your actual bed up there. Now I'll just go around and just pull the canvas over the lip here. Okay, we're ready to go inside now and start pushing up some internal poles. Now I just want to mention, three keys will open every single lock, including the main door, which is your steps on this guy, which is your big silver one right here. What we're going to do now is step inside. Now these guys have three main U-poles. They're fully in there all the time. You don't need to remove them, they're just wing nutted. So Steve's probably going to start with the centre one here. It's basically just undo the wing nuts, push it up, which he's about to do. Tighten the wing nuts again. Now you've got another U-pole that's basically coming out through here. He's just basically going to push that out. Again, tighten the wing nuts. And the exact same at the back here. Another permanently fixed U-pole. So you basically just undo the wing nuts and push up. And that's the back of your camper set up that quickly. Now you can basically just, if it's raining and you're pulled up, you can jump into bed, off to sleep. Okay, this is another double bed. So you've got bed up the top, a couple of little kitties, bed down the bottom as well. But it's also gonna double into a club lounge with a table to dine at. Okay, so this is still the initial part of the setup. You just remove these two cushions, throw them up the back, pull that little bit of wood out, and here's your table. Simple operation, leg out, leg out. You can adjust your legs to get a bit more height on them. And there you are, nice little club lounge. Okay, Steve's now got the hook poles and the spreader pole to put this window out. There's two ways you can actually do this window. You can actually just roll this canvas straight up like the other windows, or we can also do it how we we're about to show you, for wind and rain protection while you're in here. Simple hook pole through there, up to the top. We'll go over the other side. Another hook pole. Simple spreader bar. Tighten her up, 
excellent for wind and rain protection. And if it is raining, you don't have to worry about water bucketing and pooling up here because it's basically just gonna to get to a point where it'll tip off anyway. Okay, we're about to put the annex up now. Simple annex to put up. You've got eight poles in total. Three roof poles, definable by the hooks on one end and the flat end on the other. Then you've got two spreader poles, which are flat on both ends and three uprights with the sprigs on the top. I'll go through which one's which as we do it. Okay, we're gonna start with the main apex pole. So what it is, your main U-pole up here has got a little hole in the mainframe and a little sock here. So we basically just feed that up through there. And that's in. Number one. Then we'll go over the top of the bed. Just put your finger through the sock here. Feel for the hole. And she's in as well. And once that's in, we just go to the back for one last pole. That's in as well. Okay, now we're gonna go with the annex roof. Steve's gonna zipper it on this side. I'm gonna basically hold it up a bit so he can zip it nice and easy. And then we're gonna pat down the Velcro on the top. You want the Velcro pat down nice and even so the rain can't get it at the zip. And that's your roof on. Okay, so now we're gonna complete the annex by doing the uprights and the spreaders. Basically the two spreader poles, which are the flat ends, are gonna run in between these three uprights. So lay one out here, one out here. Best way to identify these poles, we've got two poles with the holes approximately 10 inches from the top. They're your two end poles because there's not much of a peak on the annex at the ends. So you see that there as well. The hole on here is way down here. So 30, 40 inches down here, you know that's your main apex pole. So that goes in the middle. Approximately comes out 2.4 metres, so try and get it as accurate as possible. And one of your spreaders. Bring it across to your mainframe. You can bring your roof over, find your eyelet, clip it into your little hole there. Now we just want to go around and tension everything up. So push him out as hard as you can. Again, push it out as hard as you can. Then adjust your height. Now, since we're doing the full setup here and we're gonna put the annex walls on as well, we're gonna put the side skirt on first. Advantage of the side skirt is you're gonna to totally seal in your annex. So, since you've got your walls on, you don't want critters or the breeze or anything coming up underneath your trailer. So we supply a full side skirt. Okay, next we're going to put the floor in. That's completely up to you whether you want to do the walls and then the floor or the floor and then the walls. Uh, my mate Steve here has chosen to do floor first. Okay, last step now is basically just to put your walls on and we're going to show you how to do that. We're going to roll out the, the walls here 
We're basically going to start at one corner to give us a reference. We're going to come over to the other corner and then we're going to work our way down the sides. Okay, now the annex walls are on, I'm basically just going to open up some windows here, get some fresh air in there before we uh, permanently put the floor down and seal it on. Easy to do with one man if you just fold over your corners like that. Just keep spreading them out, keep it a nice firm roll. Looks a lot neater that way as well. Just tuck it up under your ears. Another fantastic feature of this tent is the ensuite attached to the side wall. Very simple to put up, two uprights, one spreader pole, will be done in 30 seconds. Beautiful sunny days, you don't really need to put these guys in because they are just acting as a sunshade. But when the rain starts and when it gets really windy, good idea to get your spreader pole in. It'll shore up the tent, won't let the canvas sag as much, but like in any full rainy conditions, always come to the corner, drop this pole a couple of inches, drop the other pole a couple of inches, let the water run away. Don't even give it the chance to try and pull somewhere. So here's the ensuite that we spoke about earlier. Nice spacious ensuite, can double as a change room for the wife, the kids. Um, you've got zippers, ventilation, um, you've got little storage sections in there where you can keep your soap, your shampoo, stuff like that. Generous with the room, I think it's a fantastic ensuite. Then you've got your side skirt fully sealing it in with your bucket style flooring and heavy duty PVC flooring. And you come all the way up here to your kitchen entry. Simple entry, zip. Zip. Two locks. Pull out your kitchen, lock it in. Fantastic. So there it is, the full setup on the Cruiser High Side tent. And as you can see, it really wasn't that hard and it really didn't take us that long. Some of the best features are the three main U poles that are permanently attached at the back room that basically you've just got to push up and tighten each time. Three main uprights at the front, three roof poles. Simple to work out. As I said, just look for the holes in the pole. If it's six inches from the top, they're the side ones. If it's 30 inches from the top, it's your middle pole. En suite, you don't have to detach every time. Just leave it on with your walls, fold it up together. That guy's set up in a minute. Absolutely easy. So as you can see, it's a fantastic tent. It really is easy to set up. Just don't be in a hurry to do things. Don't over tension your poles first off. You can go back and redo things after your first setup. By the third time you've done it, you'll have it down pat and you'll be doing it in 25 minutes. It's that easy.